can wear it as a hair clip and Maria Dragonova who has a very good channel Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So this channel is all about luxury fashion, uh, including a few unboxings here and there, reviews, and basically how to work luxury pieces into your everyday life because I think that's something that we all struggle with. And um, there have been some requests in some of my last videos about doing a costume jewelry collection and I think that's a great place to start because costume jewelry from designer boutiques are usually like an entry level type of purchase. I did mention costume jewelry as being an excellent piece to start off with uh, if you are looking to purchase something that is budget friendly. Although luxury fashion is not necessarily budget friendly but you know what I mean. If you really want to get your feet wet and you want to buy into a luxury house and you want to buy something small, maybe consider uh, costume jewelry. So the costume jewelry that I own is primarily all from Chanel. And this is, I realize this, I don't own any other costume jewelry from any other design house yet. It just, it just happens to be that I have all of them from Chanel. I have a love-hate relationship with costume jewelry, as I've mentioned before, but for some reason, even this year, I bought a few pieces because the Metier Dat collection was so good. <laughs> um, but uh, I do have a love-hate relation. I always tell myself, don't buy more costume jewelry because the price point is quite high and it's not like you're getting precious metal or precious stones. It's costume jewelry. It's made with imitation pearls and stones and it's just metal like there's nothing there's not gold plated some people think they're gold plated um there's some quality issues with it as well and you know with the prices these days if you are getting something at chanel like you're looking at over 500 dollars at some points sometimes i've seen costume jewelry that's two grand and that's really pushing it but um nonetheless you can find great pieces and i'll make some suggestions as to what you should get if it's your first piece but you know, they do really elevate an outfit. I, I will say that, you know, when you do put on uh, costume jewelry, whether it's a brooch or some earrings, it does take your outfit to next level. Right now, I'm wearing a very simple outfit. This is like a $9 top from Zara. It was actually $15.90, but then I bought it on sale because that's just how I am. And I bought several of these. So I'm just wearing a plain top. I'm wearing like the usual fake dress pants that I usually wear. They're the stretchy pants. Um, but I can take this outfit and make it look like a lot more elevated. I can make it look expensive just by throwing on a piece of designer costume jewelry. I'm gonna get started uh, with one of my first pieces. And one of my first pieces is actually a very iconic piece and um, I wasn't really into spending money on costume jewelry but this is a style that I saw in various photos and I didn't know what season it was from I didn't know how hot they were and how hard to find they are but um, I just these are this is my favorite pair of earrings these are the iconic CC dangle earrings people are bending over backwards to find these things um, People are paying well above retail uh, to get these. I've heard ridiculous prices, um, but they are super, super nice. I've had these for about five years now. I remember I randomly found them. So anytime you're looking for a piece of costume jewelry, whenever you go into boutique, even if you're not planning to buy something, always ask, can I take a look at your earrings, brooches, necklaces, just see what they have because Sometimes they get shipments in of items that they may have carried in the past, but they, you know, it's not part of the current collection. You might find some gems and you had no idea that they had this available. So always take a look and um, maybe, maybe there's something that does catch your eye. I found this, I was randomly, my husband and I were, it was like summer and we were just walking around on Bloor Street uh, in Toronto and um, we used to have our Chanel flagship on Bloor Street. If you remember in my Dior shopping vlog, the Dior flagship boutique we have now was formerly the Chanel boutique. 
and um, then it closed and then they renovated, they moved to Yorkville, but that was the Chanel boutique. So uh, I walked in and um, I just looked around, I wasn't planning on buying anything. And I had asked, oh, do you guys have, and I described the earrings, I'm like, do you guys have those earrings? And then the sales associate there, she was like, yeah, we do. And she was, she was the sales associate that I never really liked to get. I mean, she was this older woman and um, not very enthusiastic, didn't really go the extra mile for her clients. But anytime I've randomly walked into the flagship, she's not working there anymore. I haven't seen her lately. <laughs> um, anytime I've seen her, I always found like a unicorn piece and then I'd have to buy from her because it was only available. So it's like, I didn't want to give her my business, but I was like forced to give her my business because I didn't want to let the item go. But anyway, she sold me this. She didn't wrap them in the nicest way. I didn't get all the ribbon and stuff, but I got these earrings. I wore these to my chiropractic graduation. I wore these on vacation. Um, super nice. They just, they just look so elegant. The second piece that I purchased was a brooch. So I purchased a brooch and it is this guy here. So it is a CC brooch. It's got pearls on one side and the interwoven leather chain, just like on the classic handbag that sort of look on the other side. And I saw this at the Encore Chanel Boutique in Las Vegas. And I happen to do a lot of um, Chanel shopping whenever I am in Las Vegas. It's a bit dangerous because if you stay at some of the hotels, like there's, there's four Chanel boutiques just on the strip. There's one at the Bellagio, there's one at Encore, there's one at Wynn, and then there's one at the Fashion Show Mall, which is at the Neiman Marcus. So there's four in like, such a close proximity so you can go to all of them and if you're staying at that hotel it's dangerous because you can just walk downstairs and and the boutiques are open till 12. they're open till midnight so 10 to midnight like if you're if your spouse or your partner or your friends are like drinking and going to the club or they're gambling like you could go to chanel right like you don't need to waste your money gambling you can go to chanel as you can see it just pops like i fell in love with this i wear this a lot on one of my um fall coats I you know wool coats that you wear in the fall uh, I like to wear it on the lapel I find that I wear brooches more in the fall winter um, you can pin them to a scarf there's so many different ways that you can wear them and I'll probably do a little video but there's also lots of videos on YouTube as to how you can wear a brooch mostly pinned on a simple top like this you could pin it on the lapel of a coat I would even improvise this into a belt I know Chanel has been coming out with designer belts with these logos on them and I don't know if I want to spend the money on something that I already have in a belt form. I would probably somehow fabricate a belt. Maybe get one of those stretchy belts and just stick it on. I would do that. Um, another tip, I'm not wearing a long sleeve shirt right now. But as you can see, imagine if this was a long sleeve shirt. You could stick it on your wrist. Like how nice would that look? Like if you, let's just imagine here, right? But. If you were going out and you were wearing like a, a long sleeve shirt or a coat and you didn't want it to be in your face on like your boob, you can just have it on your wrist and it just looks so elegant on your wrist. Um, I've done that before and it looks really neat. It's like kind of unexpected. Um, you could probably stick this on gloves. I know in the new um, fall winter collection they have gloves. You can totally put this on mittens, like in elevate your fleece dollarama mittens that are like two dollars. You can put them on there and you'll be warm and you'll have a little Chanel brooch on there. Why not? This I purchased in 2017, okay? And this is when I purchased my reissue bag at the Encore Boutique. The next piece is a really, really stunning piece. Um, these are crystal CC uh, logo studs. They've got, they've got like this pave um crystal like they just glitter and shine i'll try to insert a close-up but really really pretty um i saw these at the holt renfrew boutique in uh, toronto on bloor street and i purchased these in 2018 and they're so wearable um the thing is with earrings though i will say this is why i have a love-hate relationship with these because i have sensitive ears i can't wear like fake I can't wear fake earrings, <laughs> but my ears get irritated. I can't wear these for long periods of time. Like I can wear them for a day, but the next day I have to give my ears a break. So um, that's the only thing. But if you don't have that issue, like you can, 
I wouldn't sleep with these on. I wouldn't shower with these, definitely. But like, you know what I mean? You could probably wear them every day, but I have to give myself a break. But definitely really pretty. Uh, great size as well. They're not too big. They're not too small either. They're, they're not the tiny ones. They're a pretty good size. So another brooch that I purchased, I purchased this uh, in Paris in 2018. And I bought it at the um, 31 Rue Cambon boutique in Paris. The box is very special. It comes in the white box um, with like the black bottom. Very, very pretty and cute. It's like a mini box, just like how you get for your bags. So at the Rue Cambon location, I believe in Japan, in one of their locations, you can get these white boxes with the white bags. But anyway, so I purchased a brooch. Just again, I was buying something and then I saw, okay, well, let me look at your costume jewelry. And this is basically solid metal all the way around. This is in champagne gold and it has like a cute little uh, cartoony camellia flower on the end. Um, I don't know if that's, maybe that's like a daisy, not a camellia flower, but it's a daisy. And I really liked it because this is champagne gold. So it can pull silver, it can pull um, gold as well. Solid metal, I've heard that stones and things like that can fall out. I haven't had that experience with uh, jewelry so far, but I do like to collect pieces that have less embellishments. They also bring the price point down as well. So if you're ever shopping for costume jewelry, always look for something that doesn't have a ton of pearls or crystals or anything like that because that brings the price point to be a lot higher. And if you get something that is solid metal, um, price point is lower and you really don't risk anything falling out if it ever does. So again, I like to wear this in kind of like the beginning of spring, kind of like April, March, April. Um, looks really, really cute. Um, on uh, Definitely on like cardigans and blazers and stuff like that. I really like this piece. Okay, so the next brooch that I purchased is the one that I was always looking for. So when I purchased when I purchased this one at Encore with the pearl and the chain detail, I was really actually looking for this. This is what I wanted originally. They only had this brooch available with like the charms. You know how I had like the little cats and stuff like that? Um, they didn't have it just with the plain um, chain, uh, interwoven chain leather detail. This came in black and this also came in maroon. I think I might have the item code in here as well, if you guys are wondering. Because I purchased this again in the States. I purchased this at the Bellagio uh, Chanel. I also have the product code for this as well, because I purchased this at Encore, but it's probably in like the packaging somewhere. The nice thing about the States is they always give you these tags. Like We never get these tags in Europe, we never get these tags in Canada, but you guys in the States will always get this tag and it's kind of nice. So this is the tag if it focuses. I don't know if it's focusing, but anyway, I'll try to insert a photo, but anyway, it was 425 US at the time, and then um, add, add tax as well. It is more expensive for me to purchase in the States, I'll be honest with you, but sometimes when you're there, you just find some unique pieces. So. That being said, when I came back to Toronto, they had these everywhere in the boutique. Sometimes I still see them. I still see them around. So if you are looking for this, like they're around, like don't don't think that you can't find it. I know it's a hot item. Very classic. Uh, if I pull it out again, stick it onto there. It just pops. You can put this on white. You can put this on black. It just looks really, really nice. One thing to note I would say about brooches, and I have it on this one, is I always stick on um one of these guys so this is actually from an earring but you know the earring backings or the earring stoppers they're like that sort of a jelly there i always stick one of these on because the little turn lock mechanism that they used to have they've they've changed it it's like a little turn lock um sometimes you risk this popping out and you can potentially lose your brooch so if you have a little stopper then it prevents it from sliding out and when you notice you can close it back up but um, that's one tip that I would give so always reinforce because I have had that happen to me where a brooch did fall off and I almost had a panic attack because it was an expensive brooch I found it and then after that I always stick one of those on you can buy um, little uh, clear earring stoppers or backings on Amazon you can get like a box of like a thousand apparently and you can run with it 
Okay, so the next is the these earrings here, okay? So again, I purchased these at the Wynn in Las Vegas. So these are um, a very oversized CC with crystals inside. It's gold and it has a pearl drop. These are really nice. I did uh, this particular style, the pearl drop style, I have, um, I kind of didn't really like, I thought they were kind of granny looking. Um, and then I started to fall in love with them because I guess my style is becoming more granny like. But um, I was choosing between a smaller CC and a pearl drop, and I have photos, I'll insert a photo. And at first I bought that. And the, the weird thing is, is like here in Canada or in Europe, you cannot try on earrings. They give you, well now even with COVID, they haven't even had that lately, but you, they used to have this plastic stick that you put the earring on and then you hold it up to your ear. And when I was in the States, I was asking them like, do you have the stick? I can, and she's like, no, no, you can try them on. We just sanitize out. And I was like, really? So they let you put them on and they also let you do returns on costume jewelry and earrings, as far as I know at in Las Vegas. But um, in Toronto, like no, once you buy earrings, it's final sale, you cannot return them. Anyway, so I bought them and then I saw these and I was like, you know what, I prefer the bigger CC because they are very dressy. Like I wouldn't wear these casually. These are pretty dressy looking. So um, I exchanged them and I paid a little bit more and I got these ones. So after I got back from that trip in Toronto, um, I, I don't know what I was doing, but I visited the Chanel boutique in Yorkdale. And I noticed they had these oversized, very oversized CC studs. So they've got pearls and little crystals and they're very dainty looking, but very oversized. I think I wore them in one of my videos, but um, I'll try them on while I'm here. But I saw these, they came in this color and they also came in like a silver finish as well. So I had to have these. So I purchased these and while I was there, so this is what they look like. So very oversized, very pretty. I can definitely wear this like my entire life. I can wear this when I'm older too, very nice. Um, I noticed they had the matching brooch, so I'm a sucker for sets and I found the matching brooch to these. It's not a very big brooch, but um, it's like a mid-size brooch, definitely smaller than this, okay? Really, really pretty. Again, here, that sales associate that sold it to me told me I could definitely put it on the wrist of a, a long sleeve shirt. I thought that was really pretty. Again, this is the one that almost fell off one of my outfits. I was wearing the lace top, which is really, really dumb. If you are going to be wearing a delicate blouse um, and you're wearing one of these, then underneath, you know that like hard sort of cottony, I don't know what it's called but you use it in sewing, okay? If I remember the name, I'll insert it here. Something like that, it's got, it's very starchy, okay? Uh, get a piece of that and put it underneath the clothing and then pin it to that so that it doesn't, again, pull on the delicate material and it stays put, okay? So even if I have this here, it looks really good. This is actually small enough that you can actually put it on here onto kind of like a mock neck or a turtleneck. Really, really pretty and it matches the earrings. Another idea I had was, you could, so I have a faux pearl necklace, So, and you know how necklaces at Chanel are very expensive, and I was thinking, like, can you loop it onto here, and I'm going to try that for you, okay? So this, it doesn't have to be this necklace, the only flaw with this necklace is it has this little extension bit, so I would try to get something that's just pearls and just has one loop on each side but I'm gonna hook it on for you and you tell me what you think. So basically I threaded the brooch through the ends of the necklace. I have this little tassel thing hanging here. It could work. This is just a design of the necklace. I'd rather not have this thing. I'd probably clip this off because I don't really wear this pearl um, necklace but you could totally make that work. Like if you even get a longer one just put a brooch in between. And I think there is something you can buy on Amazon. They're called um, brooch converters. So there's these little metal sticks with loops on it that you could 
put the brooch through and then hang it. You could probably even do it with some other brooches as well, but um, I think that's a really neat idea. I'm going to keep this on for the rest of the video. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I got this as a matching set and I can totally wear it as a matching set. Very nice. I have one. I don't have the other one on, but I'm too lazy to put that on. So I purchased these together as a set. The next item I got was something that I had on my wish list, and I was looking for a solid piece, solid pair of CC studs with no embellishments or stones, but I wanted it in gold. And I bought this in uh, October of 2019. So this is for, this is 2019 in September, these two. And um, these were also 2019. This was for the um, 19K collection, so this was one of uh, Karl Lagerfeld's last collections, but anyway, um, they're solid piece, metal studs, they're kind of textured, if you can notice. I think they're supposed to like look like tweed or something like that, but anyway, just, just nothing, nothing complicated, very simple. Um, CC studs and when I saw this, um, this is when I was purchasing my white sequin flat bag from that collection um, and I saw these and I said you know what I couldn't pass these up. I think these were about 450 Canadian if I'm not mistaken and then plus tax. So again if you can just like, like I mean just letting you know. Um, getting something without embellishments you can get a nice oversized pair of CC studs for a reasonable price. Um, so definitely a good uh, good buy. I do wear these quite a bit. So since last year, then I didn't purchase anything. <laughs> and then the 20A Metia Dot collection came out and I was all over it. That really, like, that collection I think for a lot of us was, was pinnacle for the year. I think it was just maybe COVID or what it was, but I was falling in love with everything. But I was looking for the there's it's called the Paris uh, button collection um, they came out with again a very shiny yellow gold oversized CC dangle earrings which I did unbox but before uh, I saw them in the uh, collection the preview on the app and I was like okay that's it I do want those um, the price is a bit hefty for them but not as hefty as other oversized CC dangle earrings as I've seen I've seen styles that were like $2,000 and whatnot, so in comparison to that, that price point for that pair of earrings was really good. So I went in uh, close to launch day and I asked my sales associate and I asked her, did you receive these earrings? She said, we didn't receive any earrings, but I did receive the brooch. And she showed it to me and this was the brooch and I did unbox this on my channel. So if you want to see the unboxing, I'll link the video as well. But again, it's just um, very shiny and it says Chanel Paris very yellow gold which is very nice I don't have anything like this uh, before I did miss out on a brooch before it was from the bottle cap collection um, and I missed out on buying that but or I saw it in boutique but I didn't buy it I don't know why but anyway I do plan to I haven't worn this yet but I do plan to wear this uh, with a lot of Indian outfits perhaps, um, because a lot of the stuff that we wear is yellow gold, so maybe if I can pin it. But then our outfits are actually quite gaudy and very, very embellished, so I think this will get lost. I don't know. If I'm wearing something simple, I might wear this, but um, definitely something that I wanted to pick up. They had this one. Then uh, after that, um, I went into the Yorkville boutique and I saw this brooch. So this is the uh, Chanel uh, Swirling Pearls script brooch, that's what it's called. It comes in the new pouch now, so there's no, um, in the older pouches, you had like this little tab that you can thread the brooch through. Whereas with the new ones, I don't know what it is with all their costume jewelry, they have this little slip pocket. I'm not really a fan because things fall out. But anyway, it's a pretty big box and it just kind of is in there but this came out last year if you remember and um, it was very popular sold out very highly coveted personal shoppers really upcharging for it now I know this is clashing with this but let's just pretend that's not there 
it just it just says hey i'm wearing a chanel brooch <laughs> um very cute uh i saw this i only saw this in boutique in the hair clip form which is really really cute but i wanted the brooch form um because you can wear it as a hair clip and maria dragonova who has a very good channel she showed us how to do that uh, with bobby pins and you can totally wear this in your hair um i don't know maybe like that so we haven't really had party season obviously because of covid and we probably won't have that for some time but definitely you can wear it in your hair maybe i should just wear it around the house i don't know but i could probably even convert this into a necklace if i really wanted to but putting it on there it looks pretty nice but it's very sparkly i hesitated to purchase this last year because of the price it was expensive um and this year when i saw it because i missed out on it last year i just had to grab it and my sales associate was like you know what just buy it because you won't be able to find this again or not that i mean i did find it again this year don't don't let them tell you that but the thing is is that um they're they're very coveted and, and it's an iconic piece the nice thing about the new brooches which is with this one and this one is they have a new mechanism and i discussed it in one of my videos but i'll try to insert a close-up if you can tell but anyway as opposed to having that little turn uh knob you can push in and then pull the needle out like you can really like just go in and out so it's very easy to put on um so i don't think it'll fall off as quickly but again very very neat piece the thing about costume jewelry is you are paying for the logo it's not really I mean, maybe the craftsmanship but you're paying for the logo and um, sometimes you can get more affordable options that serve the same purpose if you don't have a handbag if you don't have other um, pieces from that house but you do want to dip your feet in and, and get the look um, totally worth it okay so totally worth it for that reason so this is one of my dramatic unboxings and you remember that um, video again so these are the I call them the Janice earrings so these are the <laughs> uh, oversized um, from the uh, 20 Metia dot collection so these were from the 20 Metia dot collection and they were all the rage Canada didn't receive them at all I asked everyone and they just never got them in and um, that's how they look if you want to see the unboxing for these how I got these was unreal I didn't have to go through a personal shopper I didn't have to go through a reseller I was able to purchase these directly from a boutique in Paris from a Chanel boutique in Paris and I just got lucky I contacted them I called them and they were able to um, ship these to me they charged me uh, shipping and they um, they did like an export sale and that's usually unheard of but they were doing this during the lockdown i know with handbags some of my sales associates in paris did contact me but they stopped doing that um after like I, I, as i was ordering these they stopped doing that so i got very lucky at the end that i was even able to find this pair because they told me these are the only ones that were available and personal shoppers and resellers were picking these up like crazy and I absolutely love this. This is like my highlight of the year. Uh, super lucky and I'm very happy that I have the matching brooch as well. Although I likely won't wear these together. Um, you never know, but I won't wear these together because these are quite statement as it is. Um, they're not that heavy if you want to watch my video on the unboxing of this. I'll also link it as well, but definitely very statement, very 90s. Absolutely so shiny and I'm so happy to have found these. The next and final piece is also a recent acquisition, similar Paris button collection. Again, uh, I was in boutique, happened to ask, uh, look at their costume jewelry. I probably shouldn't have asked because I don't need any more, but I did see these floating around on Instagram. Also, uh, people are looking for these. These are just the buttons, just the little buttons, and I think it's so cute, so sweet. It says Chanel Paris. Um, they look very simple. And this is my latest acquisition, and I just thought, you know what, if I want to wear these with the brooch, then it's totally doable, right? Like, I can wear these two together. 
Um, I'll try them on for you guys as well so you can see. Uh, very, very sweet looking. Right, like nothing too much if you don't want really a huge logo, but you want something iconic and very cute. Um, if somebody really knows it, they look at it and they think, oh wow, this is from that collection. You're like, yes, yes they are, um, and very light. I know that there's a CC stud version of it as well. Um, I didn't see those at all in boutique, but anyway, I, I saw these. I was also able to find another pair of these, and I, am, um, I have them on hold. I'm purchasing them as a future gift. Um, because they are just such a, a, a really, really beautiful piece. Okay, so the question comes down to how do you display these things? How do you take care of these things? So in their instruction booklet, they say, okay, don't spray perfume when you wear your costume jewelry. Don't get them wet. Okay, so we won't get them wet. That's fine. I don't think perfume is going to cause anything to fall out. It may cause the metals to discolor because it's just metal that has a finish on top it's not gold plated or anything like that so that's probably why they don't want you spraying anything so the jewelry is meant to be the last thing you put on after everything else is done your makeup your hairspray your um perfume that putting on the accessories is the last step okay you handle it with care it's expensive it's precious but i have heard some criticisms from people that anything that has like little stones um like this that they fall out i haven't had that experience yet but maybe i don't wear them as heavily that could be it um i don't know what it is but i think i think some of the ones with the larger stones you're at risk of those falling out versus the smaller stones chanel does offer uh repairs and stuff like that i don't know how long that lasts for but i think i think you can take them in after a couple of years too uh, where they do send it for repair some people give up because theirs just chronically falls out i haven't had that experience yet but um anyway it is pretty but uh yeah it shouldn't happen it shouldn't fall out touch wood i haven't had that happen to me yet storage wise they always tell you to keep it in the little pouches so if we look at the pouch of this one um, these are the earrings, so in the box you get this little jewelry pouch and you keep it like that and it protects um, you know, your earrings or anything like that from getting dusty, from tarnishing, that's great. The only thing about this is that if you keep them like this then you can't really see what's inside. Like if you have everything out on display and laid out you're more likely to wear them. But if they're hidden in these pouches then you kind of forget and then when you're in a hurry in the morning you don't have time to go through each one to see what you've got so I'm still kind of struggling with um, how to display these things I did purchase um, these sort of gray um, trays from Amazon just for my accessories in general I have the IKEA packs wardrobe behind me and I've got the thin pull-out trays so it's really great for accessories but I do need to improve that situation as well because it's a mess in there but um, I want to find a way where I can have these open and still keep them protected. I did find a tray on Amazon that was in black with like a clear um, plastic cover, but the quality of that I, did, I wasn't impressed with, so I, I sent it back. But um, I think I think I'm going to keep them like this for now, just so I can see them. But I don't think I mean I see people displaying them in drawers just all getting bumping into each other and mangled up and nothing's really going on so um for now i have them in the boxes uh but you know i think i'll take the boxes out and just store them in the pouches just kind of folded back so i can see everything and just keep them in the trays um that's what i'm going to do for now uh if i improve the storage situation i will but i don't think i need any more costume jewelry i think i found most of the iconic pieces i mean um, I'm lucky to have found some of these pieces, like I, I was very picky with the costume jewelry and I only purchased what I truly love. So I found some pretty um, sought after pieces and I'm very happy to have them in my collection. Are they worth it? Yes, if you have one or two pieces it's definitely worth it. You do not need to go overboard and buy a lot of it because um, at the end of the day you're only going to wear so much. 
Uh, I like to again wear brooches on jackets and coats. Um, I like to wear them in the fall winter time. I think it's a very fall winter appropriate item. The earrings you can wear all year round. I haven't invested into the long um, pearl necklaces. They're just they're just very expensive and I don't want to spend that much money on that piece. Uh, and like I said, the hack that I told you works. Like I can I can get like faux pearl strands and then hook on a brooch and I can get the same look so why are, I don't need to do that. In this video I didn't include sunglasses. I know sunglasses is kind of costume jewelry but not quite but I will do a sunglasses collection uh, video um, as well as like you know other glasses that I do own that I like to switch up. I can do a collection like that if you're interested, but I think you did see the unboxing of two Chanel sunglasses and then the Louis Vuitton sunglasses you already know that I have. So um, yeah, so basically uh, that's it. Uh, I'll take you through a glimpse of my drawer. It's not perfect. And just to let you know that guys, like nobody's perfect. We're all trying to perfect our storage. So this is the current situation of my PAX tray. This is like the biggest size. I think it's like the 100 centimeter long and then the deepest up. I don't know. I'll insert it here. But basically, I really like these um, jewelry trays. They're from Amazon. They're like a gray felt. But the thing is, is that um, they don't quite fit all the way like there's a lot of empty space back here not that I'll be able to kind of reach back here anyway but I would like it to be covered so that you know it's like not things aren't like sliding around okay so um I thought that I'd pick up these um jewelry trays from Amazon which are this thing here so I picked up these trays and I thought maybe I'll replace them um, with the current ones I have, but I don't know, like, first of all, when I open them, this sort of crushed velvet looks a bit cheap to me compared to this finish. Also, there's like a weird funky smell coming from them and like, it's giving me a headache. Like, I don't know if it's the glue or I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. I like the fact that there's like a clear cover so that I can just display the jewelry in here without putting them in the pouches. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna send this back. This thing, the all of these come out. So these like, there's removable little things here, but I don't think I'm gonna put, I can't really put my um, costume jewelry in here because it doesn't really fit these. But maybe using that, but I don't know, I just, I'm not really feeling it. I don't really like it. So I'm going to I'm going to be sending this back. I ordered two of these, but I'm going to be sending them back. So I prefer this uh these gray uh trays. And I think on Amazon they had ones with a lid at the time that I purchased these, but I couldn't really find them anymore. But I think what I'm going to do is IKEA actually has um their new pat like complement line um which is now in gray so before they used to have the complement um tray liners and all that in uh like red and i did have those but then they were kind of corny looking and then i bought these gray ones now they've switched their coloring to gray and i did see that they have like a tray liner which is just felt so it's like gray felt so i think i'm gonna buy that and then line the tray with that felt so that it's all kind of continuous. And then that way these don't kind of slide about when I close the drawer. Yeah, so before I was storing like the brooches and all without their protective couch. So all the costume jewelry comes in a box like this. And then there's a pouch. And when you open it up, you've got your piece inside. So these are the um, like these are actually in store this season. I got these last year around this time in September, so 2019 September, but I did see that they have uh, these with the matching brooch and the necklace in boutiques now. So if you are looking for this particular pair, they are gorgeous. These are like oversized studs. But anyway, they come in this protective pouch, which is great. It's great for travel and it keeps the um, jewelry from like tarnishing, keeps it safe. Um, there's like a little bit of a care booklet in here, but the annoying thing is is if I storm like this even with the box open Then it's really hard like if I'm in a hurry 
Like I have to kind of flip through everything to see what it is. And then if I don't see it, I'm less inclined to wear it. So for instance, in here, gosh, I don't even know what's in here. Oh, these are like the pearl drop earrings. So, I mean, I've gone ahead and I've shown you each piece kind of with the pouch because on video, like it's nicer to have it in the pouch because there's more contrast. But for me to visually see, I do need them to be kind of out. So, you know, I had them out of the pouch before and then I took them uh, and then I got a little bit paranoid thinking, well, I'm going to ruin the jewelry because it's, you know, exposed to air, but I don't think it's a big deal. So I'm going to do that and, um, you know, it is covered anyway. Oh gosh, there's still, this, this has like the, um, the Paris button collection in here. I still have to put these away, but like it's covered, like it's not going to really go anywhere. Um, this top tray is... A mess it is a mess guys I need I need time to organize I really do um, there's just like a oh my God. <laughs> this is the reality guys it started off nice but then it gets it's just everything's all over the place because it just moves around okay um, so I'm gonna work on this I'm gonna get a tray liner and just make it all nice but yeah this needs like a massive overhaul so I will update you on how I'm gonna be organizing that um, but yeah, so I will put the jewelry out and then you can see how it is and then I'll update you guys at some point what the finished look is. So I just discovered that these dividers are entirely removable, which I had no idea. So I'm not as constrained. They're just basic trays. So that might work. And then I can use this in the, um, like excess area somehow. I don't know. We'll see. But to divide, like if I put the flip felt underneath and I put this on top, that might work. So I'd like to know how you store your costume jewelry. I'd like to know how you wear it. Do you realistically wear it every day? I try to wear certain pieces here and there. Um, you know, it's easy to stick on the earrings than it is the brooch, I'll tell you that. But once I have a brooch on the lapel of a jacket, like I'm wearing them, like it's, it's staying there for the season. I don't really switch it around. So that's basically it. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed looking at this collection. Let me know which one was your favorite piece. If you're into this sort of content and you like watching videos like this, I know I do, consider hitting the subscribe button, consider hitting the like button and also tap the notification bell to get notified every time I do upload a new video. I'm trying to get more regular with this. I'm getting more natural with it. I'm starting to understand how to edit and um, it's not taking me as much time to do videos as it did previously. So I'm going to try to throw in some quicker videos here and there. So if you want to see that, then do hit subscribe and tap the notification bell. I would love to hear your feedback and I will see you in my next video. Bye.